Early on, I spoke about the importance of choosing your friends. If you had not had the chance to watch the video, click on the link in the top right hand corner to watch the video so you can get a full context of why you need to choose your friends. Now, a big shout out to those people who have sent me private messages to congratulate me for starting this channel. I'm glad that you find the content helpful and let me know what kind of topics you want me to cover in the future. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to click on the subscribe button right now to show your support. One of the many issues that many people, myself included, encounter are toxic relationships. There are multiple videos talking about toxic relationships and how to get out of one. But why is no one talking about toxic friendships? Yet, I've pointed out in my previous video that we are the average of five people around us and friends happen to be a big part of the five people around us. This is why it is important to learn about toxic friendships and how to avoid them. We have all been there, stretched to the point where one day we tell ourselves enough is enough and cut off the cursed relationship, regretting that we did not do it any sooner. The, the weird thing about relationship is that people seem to put up with it so much while we are in it and the moment we cut ourselves free, we take a look back and ask ourselves why the hell did I put up with so much crap when I was in it? Now, one of the reasons would be that you are a kind soul that cares about your friends. Or maybe you're just not so great at recognizing what a toxic relationship is. In this video, I will be covering three main issues, mainly what constitute a toxic relationship, a tactic way to deal with toxic relationships, and the type of friends you will need in your life. Good friend and bad friend checklist. Recognizing a good or a bad friend becomes all model when you are friends with someone. As friends, we tend to push each other's boundaries until it reaches a certain level. Done appropriately and at the right time, we become good friends. Done inappropriately and at the wrong time, it becomes this weird, hateful friendship. Drawing this line can be rather difficult and as a result, most of us get sucked into this big mess until we decide it's time to get out. To help you along, I have formulated this list of questions that can help you determine if you are in a toxic friendship. Ask yourself these questions. Is your friendship more interesting than a Korean drama? We all know how Korean dramas are. The crying your heart out scenes, the twists and turns. Toxic people, they love the grandiose, the drama and the misery. They like to over-dramatize every situation, keep count of people who have betrayed them or abandoned them in the past sometimes even making themselves the victim so that you will provide some sort of solace for something they are clearly in wrong. If you're not careful, you might even find yourself one of the main characters in the drama. Thus the world revolves around them. All hail the queen. If it's not about them, it's not good enough a topic for conversation. If it's not about them, they do not want to hear it and they don't care. You can share your story all you want and it won't reach them. At the end of the day, it's about what they want, how they feel and why they're more important than you. They can't be happy for you. True friends share their friends' happiness. Toxic friends treat you as a competition and they will put you down every chance they get. These people, they can't be happy for you because they're jealous of you. They are so needy. Oh my God. It's like you have a new boyfriend or girlfriend in addition to the one that you already have if you have one. These guys, they will text you at inappropriate time of the day. They can text you at like 3 a.m. in the morning and they will get angry if you ignore them. I mean, who replies a text at 3am in the morning? 
If you blue tick them, you will find yourself at peace the next day because they will ignore you. Actually, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Now, this is serious. Some toxic friends are at a point where they will actually make you feel responsible for them. Some of my close friends have shared with me their experiences with toxic friends where these people would actually threaten to cut themselves if my friends did not do something for them. Dealing with these people can be very tricky as you don't really want to abandon them as they might actually hurt themselves. So if you are ever in that situation, my advice would be to seek professional help. So what can we do about toxic friendships? If you have been following this channel, you should know that I'm a very straightforward person. Despite that, I do believe that everybody deserves a second chance. We need to give everyone the benefit of doubt. To start with, have a chat with a toxic friend. Let them know how they make you feel and that their actions is unacceptable. They may not be aware of the consequence of their actions as they are so caught up in the drama. Letting them know how others feel around them may bring awareness to the situation and hopefully they will be aware of how they make other people feel and make some change to it. Be specific. It may feel like you are singling them out but it's a lot better than giving them answers such as oh, I don't know, it's just how you make me feel. How the hell is anyone supposed to know what you're trying to say? I always tell my medical students that feedback is not a tool to attack others. Feedback is a way for all of us to learn so that we can improve ourselves. So you need to be very specific when you're telling the toxic friend how they are making other people feel. At the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, maybe it's time to say goodbye. I always advocate for peaceful conversations, but if the situation is too complicated or you're too tired of the shit, unfriend them, block them as a last resort. In my previous video, I mentioned that people gain and lose friends all the time. Maybe this toxic friend is part of the journey you've just completed. As I said before, some people are part of the journey, but not the destination. So, what kind of friends do you need right now? Everyone has different definition about the right group of people they should hang out with. In my opinion, the right group of people should contain three groups. The mentor, the equal, and the mentee. While we are all busy fighting for our dreams, we are often caught up in mess and lose our sense of direction. We all need someone that can lift us up. We need someone that can show us the way and help us achieve our goals. This is where the mentor comes in. It can be someone in your field of work who has significant achievements, or it can be someone you look up to, or it can be this extremely smart doctor that is giving you advice through his YouTube channel. The second group of people you will need will be a sparring partner. I'm talking about people on equal footing with you. These are the people who will study with you, work on big projects with you, people who will push you beyond your limits. This can be a friend or partner who will motivate and push you at the same time. The final group of friends are your mentees. Now I never understood this concept until I became an associate lecturer for the university. What I learned from teaching medical students was that I was constantly revising the topics, gaining new understanding and clarity each time. Through the process of teaching, you learn. To remind you how far you have come. It is rewarding to lift people up so they can lift other people up in the future. Whatever kind of friends you choose to associate with, remember, don't join an easy crowd. Nothing good can come out from something easy. Some people advocate to surround yourself with successful people only. 
While it is true that successful people can motivate you and lift you up in many different ways, constantly surrounded by overachievers can actually attribute to unnecessary stress and as a result be detrimental to you. What you need is the balance. Now, if you would like to know how to attract the right kind of people, make a comment below so that I'll know if the topic interests you. As always, thank you all so much for your support thus far, and I'll see you next Friday.